service to our community. Order. Call the honourable member for Dabell. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Deputy Speaker. Whilst it's commonly known that students develop and learn at varying rates, however, some students' um, reading and writing presents a continual challenge. These are the students who struggle daily with the condition dyslexia. And it's important that we acknowledge and support these students and, for that matter, adults with this condition. Dyslexia is better understood as a persistent difficulty with reading and spelling. It's a language-based learning condition affecting up to 16 per cent of Australians, impacting on the skills involved in accurate and fluent word reading and spelling. Dyslexia does not affect general intelligence, yet it's a lifelong condition which can severely impact an individual's ability to complete mainstream education and training. The Australian Dyslexia Association believe, quote, children identified at risk of dyslexia should receive early intervention, evidence-based, multisensory approaches for reading and spelling, and teachers must be able to identify, plan and tailor the needs of individual students, end of quote. I'd like to highlight some of the great work being undertaken by organisations and individuals within Dobell to assist those with dyslexia. In our roles as elected members, I believe we should all play an active role in creating a brighter educational future for our children. This is why I've joined with the Central Coast Dyslexia Association to provide information handbooks for primary schools in Dobell. These handbooks will help provide and implement the advice of the Australian Dyslexia Association by providing schools with an additional resource to assist teachers and volunteers who work with students affected by dyslexia. Recently, I met with Gillian Zoka from the Central Coast Dyslexia Association, who spoke about a successful implementation of this program at Blue Haven Public School. The Central Coast Dyslexia Association also holds workshops and information evenings in Dobell for parents, teachers and professionals, providing strategies and tools for helping children with dyslexia. And I also look forward to working with Gillian to raise awareness of the need for volunteers, including retired teachers, to help implement dyslexia programs within schools on the Central Coast. Programs implemented by the Central Coast Dyslexia Association provide children with dyslexia the opportunity to shine and, importantly, cope in a world that expects so much from numeracy and literacy skills. I also acknowledge the outstanding work of Mr Jim Bond, a resident um, of Dobell, who for over 25 years has been a tireless advocate for people with dyslexia and was instrumental in securing technology to address dyslexia in our schools. Jim, who himself is affected by dyslexia, has championed the introduction of text-to-speech computer software in primary and secondary schools. Jim has also shaped and influenced changes to legislation, including the recognition of dyslexia as a disability in various jurisdiction legislation. Technological advancements to assist people with dyslexia now means that a quality education for people with dyslexia is possible. And I look forward to working further with schools in Dobell, the Central Coast Dyslexia Association, and individuals such as Jim Bond to better support those with dyslexia within our community. Here, here. Well, the Blair. Uh, thank you, Deputy Speaker. My